for it being around the place because you know it's five or six six games in and yeah. it's not going as no, well. No, it's not. But forming the first four or five games was pretty good. But but we played well enough. We didn't get the results. So you look at that and you you wonder why that doesn't happen. The last couple of games, uh, you know, you, you start to think, no, our performances maybe weren't as good as they, they should have been. But uh, but our performances earlier on were fine. So I think, in fact, you no, know, one mood isn't great because we know we're not winning. We want to be higher up the league. We, we believe we should be, but uh, you have to prove that. But uh, I think a lot of our performances haven't been haven't been too bad. It's very true. Do you have to guard against the fact that something might become something that it wasn't in the first place? I think... I th well, I think it is because it's become something because Everton weren't expected to be in this position we are. But you know, people who've watched Everton over the years would say, "Well, we've been here quite a few times now." So maybe in a way, it's not a shock. It's a shock to me because I, I prepared differently in the hope that it wouldn't happen. And uh, so, from that point of view, we're, we're disappointed. But you know, we're what five, six games into the season, so it's very early. Uh, but you have to guard against the fact that you know. The, the you know, because you can get into a habit, can't you? You know, or players can get into a habit, and, and you've got to guard against that. Because as you say, the we performances have. have been. Yeah, good. it was just like the habit last year where we only lost two out of twenty-four, mm -hmm. which gave us the confidence to start this season in real, real confident mode and the feeling that you know we can start the season well. And I think our play was okay, not the first game, but I think our play in general has been okay. But we now have to recognise the situation we're in. We need to try and, as I said before, sort of batten down the hatches and and try and get ourselves some points on the board. Maybe before we're free flowing football, we'll, we'll actually pay dividends. I know you, one striker may uh, have a little bit of a, a lean period or a few missed chances, but to have all of them not firing, how difficult is that for you? Well, it's been difficult because really, if you look, you know, we've, we've not scored an awful lot of goals from centre forward for, for quite a while. Even in the good period last season, you know, a lot of our goals were coming from Tim Cahill and Mikel Arteta and different people. So we'll, we've been in that situation, but we were aware of it, you know, and uh, we've got a couple of injuries now. But, what can we do? No, we scored three against Manchester United with Tim Cahill playing centre forward. So, you know, we've we've done okay in one or two games, and we've been creating opportunities. We've just not been taking them, or maybe making the final pass count. And a, a, a difficult game on Saturday against Fulham. It's always a feisty one, isn't it? It's always a difficult game at Fulham. Yeah, uh, you go to Craven Cottage. It's always been a hard place to get a result, and uh, you know, I see it being no different. Uh, the crowd have a factor down there because they, you know it's one of those grounds, isn't it? Like Goodison, you know, yeah, I think I think uh, Fulham as a football club have, have continually improved over the years. I think there's been a been a progression, and as you can see with the with the, with the players getting to the cup final, European cup final uh, last year, I think it was a, a tremendous achievement for the players and for the club. So I see it. I see the club sort of feeling it's back on the rise again. You know, it's got great history, Fulham over the years, and uh, you know the supporters will be fighting back again. You see the the sort of revival and the, the success they've been having. As far as your injury situation is concerned, how, how are you going into the game? We go into the game, we've got one or two doubts. Lane Osmond picked up a rib injury. Uh, we've still got the likes of Louis Saha. Victor Amachibi's had an operation in his knee yesterday, so we shall keep him out for probably six weeks or so. And uh, Tony Hibbert's got a slight groin strain, which will we'll keep him out. So we've got two or three injuries, but, uh, but no more than anybody else. Thanks, David. Cheers.